After I left Kingsville, I moved back to Seattle. I'd actually lived in Seattle before moving to Kingsville. But one of the first things I did in returning to Seattle was start volunteering at a place called the Northwest Film Forum. The Film Forum was a non-profit, small, independent theater located in the Capitol Hill area of Seattle. And it was a place that screened small, independent films, old films, novelty and niche films. Uh, but it also had events and get-togethers and classes. And for me, it was also a great way to meet people, especially people that were interested in film, and video making, and graphic design. Uh, and one of the first people I met there was a guy named Craig. Uh, Craig is sort of an energetic, charismatic, eccentric kind of guy, still is today. Uh, and he was also interested in making films uh, and doing a lot of the same things that I was interested in, even though we had tremendously different tastes. So what happened over the next two years or so was uh, a whole series of projects, some of which I came up with and made with Craig's help and probably more so things that Craig came up with uh, that I helped get put together. Uh, and what was it, it was an interesting time. Uh, Craig ended up being kind of my go-to guy for uh, cast, crew, support, help in writing, help in editing, uh, idea spitballing. Uh, and I think he was much more experienced uh, and obviously uh, had a kind of a different taste in terms of projects. So I was largely his sort of brute force uh, crew, uh, occasionally giving him some uh, bad acting to assist in his projects. Um, and we just had a lot of fun. And again, this is 2005 Seattle. So this is before YouTube. Uh, so seeing people's work or having your work seen was still a bit of a challenge. I remember there was a media organization in Seattle that would host these open screening events, kind of like an open mic night. Uh, and it's where people would bring whatever work they were working on or they've completed. Uh, and they would screen them to uh, the audience there. Uh, and I distinctly remember uh, us wanting to have something to put together to do or to screen at one of these events. Um, so I remember taking my camera out and spending a day in Seattle just shooting whatever. Uh, so I had this sort of pile of footage and I spent a solid day taking it and making it into something uh, that we took and we had it screened uh, and that is a little mock trailer called uh, the bear Ma or bear man and the pirate and so it's silly and um, just kind of I think it's funny but it's just kind of weird uh, but really it was made uh, under the pressure of wanting to have something for people to screen again this is all before YouTube uh, or any of those things uh, one of the things that Craig introduced me to was Super 8. And for you younger viewers, Super 8 was a film product. It was kind of the first home movie product for people. Uh, and you would have special camera, you'd expose the film, you'd have to get it developed, and then you had this sort of tiny film strip that you would need a projector to show. Uh, and, you know, I started shooting some things on Super 8 and I got it developed there in Seattle. And one of the things that the film form had was this sort of contraption that would help or would digitize your Super 8 footage. It would go frame by frame uh, and uh, take each frame and make it into a digital image so that you could go and edit the film uh, in the computer instead of manually by cutting and taping the old way. So. Uh, Craig kind of introduced me to that, so a lot of the early projects I worked on in Seattle were using Super 8. But over the next two years, 2005, 2006, um, you know, I did a bunch of small projects. I helped on a, probably a ton of Craig's projects. I think he was a lot more prolific um, uh, and had a lot more ideas going on. Uh, and it was really a, a fun, creative time um, working at the Film Forum. I really had a sense of community, uh, creativity. There was a real DIY ethic. There was all, I was always working on something, whether it was my own project or Craig's project, or you know, I helped uh, 
film documentaries for other people involved in the film forum or help them put together their student films. I was always involved in something and it was just a really fun, creative time. And Craig, I mean, Craig, I could spend an hour talking about Craig. That guy's gone on to do all kinds of crazy stuff and worked for big name clients and helped make films and helped make music videos. He lived in multiple countries and he created a film fest and he's, he's done all kinds of stuff. And today he teaches film in Seattle. And, but that when I look back on 2005, 2006, it was, you know, just, uh, a couple of guys and some cameras and some time to burn, you know, it was just a lot of fun and creativity and the stakes were low and it was just great energy in terms of uh, trying out medium and, and, and just having fun. This 2005-2006 this time frame was kind of a bookend for me and probably the last time I was really strongly active uh, in filmmaking and, and, and doing visual projects, uh, which has been kind of fun seeing the time capsule and seeing what's in it. Uh, very inspiring. I mean, I've been working on several projects to date and part of that's tied in with music and drums. Uh, but it's been really fun to kind of get back into or re-explore uh, sort of film medium and, and that sort of thing. So uh, I hope that you enjoy a couple of these small little nuggets uh, from the time capsule. 